The Internet Options dialog box is like a control panel for much of Internet Explorer's settings. From this dialog box, you can set various preferences for your web browser, such as its default home page, the number of days to record in the history list, appearance options such as fonts and colors, and the level of privacy and security you want Internet Explorer to enforce when you're online. In addition, you can clear your browsing history using the Internet Options dialog box. By default, when you clear your history, you delete your temporary Internet files, history of web pages visited, and cookies. However, as you can see from the picture to the right, you can also select to delete other things like information entered into web forms and saved passwords. You can also uncheck any of the options that are selected by default. In earlier versions of Internet Explorer, clearing your browsing history would automatically delete all your cookies and temporary Internet files. However, now with Internet Explorer 8, you can elect to save the cookies and temporary files for the website saved to your favorites folder. This preserves your data on your favorite sites, which means they will load faster. Something to remember is that it's important to regularly delete your temporary files. Why? Anyone with access to your computer will be able to see the sites you visited if you don't delete your temporary files. Also, as more and more files are saved, they will take up more space on your computer and may decrease your computer's efficiency. You want to customize Internet Explorer to better suit the way you will use it. You'll use the Internet Options dialog box to change your default home page and delete your temporary Internet files, cookies, and browsing history. We like to start each morning with a dose of humor, so let's make comics.com our home page. As discussed earlier, we can do this from the Internet Options dialog box. To begin accessing this dialog box, we can click the Tools button on the command bar. Now all we need to do is select the Internet Options command. We've opened the Internet Options dialog box and can see that it consists of seven tabs that cover a range of categories. However, all the changes we will be making will be on the general card, which we're already on. Let's make the current web page our home page. We can do this by clicking the Use Current button that we see in the home page section of this card. Notice that the URL in the home page text box changed to reflect the current web page. This setting will be confirmed once we close the dialog box. We have more changes to make though. For one, we should delete our temporary internet files, as the folder that contains them can get pretty big if it's not cleaned out regularly. We also want to delete our browsing history and cookies. All three of these actions can be taken care of by clicking the delete button in the browsing history section. Here we can see all the different options for clearing our browsing history, as discussed earlier. The three items we want to delete, temporary files, cookies, and history of visited pages are already selected by default. In addition, notice that the option to preserve the cookies and temporary files for our favorites is selected. This is exactly what we want, so all we need to do now is click the delete button and our browsing history will be cleared. We've cleared our browsing history and have returned to the general card. Now that we've done all that we need to do here, let's apply all of our changes by closing the Internet Options dialog box. In order to see if our home page changed successfully, we'll need to go to another web page and then return home. Let's use one of our saved favorites on the favorites bar to quickly jump to a web page. 
Now that we've moved to another web page, let's see if clicking the Home button takes us to our new home page. We can use the Home button, which looks like a house and is located on the command bar, to do this. As we can see, comics.com now functions as our home page. As you use Internet Explorer more, you'll want to configure the application so you can spend the least amount of time and be the most productive. Explore all the options available and you'll find lots of ways to make IE do just what you want.